In this video, we're going to take a fairly high-level look at SIMD programming. SIMD stands for Single Instruction Multiple Data. In other words, the CPU can operate on multiple pieces of data in the same instruction. Obviously, this is going to provide some incredible performance boost for your application. Sometimes, this is known as vectorization. Sometimes, this is known as vectorization. But in any case, it's a way to parallelize data operations. So now let's take a look at an example. Suppose we have an array of data. Maybe we have an unsigned short array called data, maybe with a thousand elements. Now, in your normal programming, you might do a for loop and say add five to each array element. And that's easy to do. And normally in the past, it would just, for each array element, it would add five and then 5 to the next one, and 5 to the next one, and 5 to the next one. But here with vectorization, we can take maybe the first four and simultaneously add 5 to them, skip up here and add 5 to them, skip up here and add 5 to them. And that's what SIMD will do for you. Now, you don't have to do anything for it. The compiler will manage all of this for you, which is great. Um, and you can take advantage of SIMD or vectorization to drastically speed up your program. Okay, so here we have some pretty straightforward code. There's an array of unsigned shorts that has a thousand elements. And we have a for loop that counts from 0 to 999. And within the for loop, we add 5 to each array element. You would expect that this would operate on one element at a time. However, if we set a breakpoint here, and then we go ahead and run, the breakpoint will stop there. And we will go to disassembly and take a look at what we've got. Notice you don't see this add five to each array element. What you see, what you see is SIMD CPU opcodes. You don't see anywhere that it's adding five what you see is that it's adding five four times simultaneously. And please note that the counter is not increasing the pointer the size of a single short. It's increasing the counter the size of actually, actually of 16 shorts because that's how many times it performed the operation. So with no effort on your part, the compiler gave you top-notch vectorization code. There's another really nice thing that Intel's Parallel Studio does for you. It has a tool called Vectorization Advisor. Once you have vectorized code, or SIMD code, you can run the Vectorization Advisor and see if you've done everything correctly or if it has any suggestions for you. So let me go ahead and go to Tools, Intel Advisor, Vector and Threading Analysis, and this takes several seconds to run and then you go ahead and hit this collect button which sometimes takes quite a while but what it's doing is it's going to run the application and collect statistics so that it can give you really good advice okay um, based on that it will give you a summary of all of your vectorization and whether it has any suggestions for you. So in conclusion, SIMD programming normally requires no effort on your part. If you're just doing standard array manipulation, the compiler will handle it. It can provide amazing and astonishing performance gains. If you want though, you can add compiler directives to fine-tune your vectorization. 
And lastly, Vectorization Advisor can provide you some really good advice on how to get the most out of SIMD and vectorization. <laughs>